This is uh, chapter 12, lesson one. It says collect and record data. This is data. It's collected, it's collected information on or facts. One way to collect data is by taking a survey. And you ask a question in the survey. How many people like pizza, uh, hot dogs, or hamburger? And then you just count the data and put the uh, number of people that like each, each item. Okay. So one way to collect data is by taking a survey or asking a lot of, uh, a lot of people a question. A frequency table or a tally chart will help you uh, record the data you collect. So look at the example that they gave us. Okay, Mr. Alvarez surveyed his uh, scout troop. He asked each of his scouts, what is your favorite camping activity? Okay, so we, and he gave them three choices. He gave them swimming, hiking, and fishing. Okay, the results are shown. Okay, and swimming, how many people liked swimming? Five. How many? Five. Five. See, here's a tally right there. How many like fishing? Four. Fishing. Three. Three. And then how many like hiking? Four. Four. So four for hiking and three for fishing. And this is swimming. Just like that. So each tally represents each person that, that likes that particular camping activity. Okay. It says write one sentence about the data that was recorded. Well, let's see. What's, what's that? More scouts enjoy swimming more than any other activity. That's the sentence that you would write. Collect and organize data. Ms. Alvarez asked each of her students, what is your favorite after-school activity? The results are shown. Look at the data Ms. Alvarez collected and organize it in a tally chart and a frequency table. These three steps will help us make a tally chart. Step 1. Draw a table with two columns. Include a title. Add the title, Favorite After School Activities. Step 2. List each activity in the first column. The students mentioned three favorite after-school activities, playing a sport, reading, watching TV. Step three, use tally marks or numbers to record the results. Since we're making a tally chart, we'll use tally marks to record the results. Each tally mark represents a student. How many students said playing a sport is their favorite after-school activity? Five. So we'll draw five tally marks on the table. How many students said reading is their favorite after-school activity? Four. How many students said watching TV is their favorite after-school activity? Three. Now let's use the data Ms. Alvarez collected to make a frequency table. We'll use the same three steps to make a frequency table. Step one. Draw a table with two columns. Include a title. Add the title, Favorite After School Activities. Step 2. List each activity in the first column. Playing a sport, reading, watching TV. Step 3. Use tally marks or numbers to record the results. Numbers are used to record the results on a frequency table. Five students said playing a sport is their favorite after-school activity. Four students said reading is their favorite after-school activity. Three students said watching TV is their favorite after-school activity. So look at the example that they gave us. It says, survey your classroom and record the results. I'll just ask you guys and we'll put these down. It says, write a survey question to ask your classmates. An example is shown. What type of lunch is your favorite? So, that was your lunch. Okay. And we have grilled cheese, which is A. Pizza, which is B. Uh, C is peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or D, spaghetti. 
It says create a tally chart or a frequency table to, sh uh, to record your results. So, so we have grilled cheese, pizza, pepperoni, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and spaghetti. All right. So I asked the question, uh, grilled cheese, and there were two people that did that. Pizza? I asked uh, about pizza, and there were 12. So I need to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And how many more? Two more. One, two. Okay, how about C, P uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? For peanut butter and jelly sandwich, there was only one. And how about spaghetti? And then for spaghetti, it was eight. So I need one, two, three, four, five. And then how many more tally marks? Mm -hmm. Three. One, two, three. Okay. So we ask a question to each classmate. We're organizing our data. And it looks that. Write one sentence that describes your results. It looks like there are more uh, classmates that like that like pizza. Or you could say something like this. Pizza is the most popular. Lunch to eat. That's the way you would describe your. So the kind of practice it says the data shows the the sports cards most frequently traded in Mrs. Patton's class. Organize the data in a uh, tally chart. So what are the sports? So. Basketball, baseball, football, and hockey. Hockey. All right. Uh, how many uh, liked? Uh, how many traded uh, base basketball cards? Basketball cards. Basketball. How many? Three. So how many talents do I need to write write down? Three. One, two, three. And how many collected uh, or traded, excuse me, baseball cards? Six. Six. So one, two, three, four. And then when I get to five, what do I do? Pop it over. Okay, and then one more. That's six. And how many football? How many? Nine. Nine. So one, two, three, four, and then across five. And how many more? Four. One, two, three, four. And then lastly, how many for hockey? Five. One, two, three, four, and then across makes five. <laughs> All right. It says, uh, based on the tallies that we have, which is the most popular scorecard to trade? How do I know that? Because football. football has the biggest number, right? Yeah. And which is the least popular? So again, which one's the least? Basketball, because that only has three. Let's do number two together. It says, while observing temperatures for one week, Arnaldo recorded the following data. <laughs> okay. So he has weekly temperatures. So he has temperatures from 70 to 75, 76 to 80, 81 to 85, and then 86 to 90. So, uh, how many how many uh, uh, days were at seventy to seventy five? How many? Yeah, Two. I write the number out. How many were at seventy to seventy seventy six to eighty? Three. 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 How many?
many to 81 to 85? One. One. And then how many to 86 and to 90? One. One. So what I did was, I, so now we're going to do number three. I labeled the temperatures and then I labeled the frequency with the actual number, not the tally, where we'd have the tallies. So for number three, obviously I needed to write, I'm going to just go C for chocolate. C for chocolate, S for strawberry, and W for white milk. Well, one way to do it is chocolate. I have one, two, three, four, five. Easier to count when I just cross them out, right? For strawberry, for strawberry, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And lastly, for white milk, one, two, three, four. That should be it. And that's it. So it should look something like this. Chocolate, white, strawberry, five, four, six. Again, we got these numbers based on the number of items for each one. Or we got these numbers here based on the tallies that we that we have on the chart. And we do all of this to help us collect data. Let's do four, five, and six together. So use the, uh, the tally chart to, to answer the questions below. Uh, and it says, which item was the top seller? So we have eraser, bottle of glue, pencil, and scissors. Which was the top seller? Pencil, pencil because pencil has five, six, seven, eight. Pencil has eight. The uh, eraser has five, bottle of glue has zero, and the scissors has one. <coughs> so which side was the top seller? Pencil. Uh, which item sold once? Scissors. Okay. And then uh, how many items were sold all together? Well, five and eight is 13. Plus one more, you're right, is 14. Pencil, scissors, 14. Excellent. 